Oh yes, it's time for another gin and groans. Gin, groan. And this is all, of course, kudos to uh, Church House Classics, who does beer and bollocks. And uh, my friend in Austria, uh, Classic Car Cave, who is also going to do something and I believe he's calling it Vodka and Views. Uh, my wife says it should be called Vodka and Venom, but uh, we'll see what Dave decides on that one. And it's just us guys, car guys, with our own channels blowing off, because we can. Um, I recorded this video probably about a week or so ago. Um, and being an ex, computer guy, I'm very fastidious about, uh, oh there's a big word, fastidious, uh, about cleaning up um, shit on my computer. If I, you know, delete shit, um, then I'll empty the recycle bin. Um, and I go around and, uh, you know, I'll remove uh, uh, temporary files, I'll run cleaners, I'll, I'll do all that kind of stuff. But sometimes I fuck up. And I fucked up and deleted my gin and groan, so, oh well. Maybe in one respect it was a it was a good thing. Um, not really sure. Uh, sometimes I get a little uh, carried away because I dare to have an opinion, and much to some people's chagrin, they just go, "Oh well, uh, that's just Gary. He likes to be different. He likes to argue." No, Gary has an opinion, and. Uh, uh, my, my brother is a, is a classic one for that. No matter what my opinion is, he thinks it's just because I'm his younger brother. Well, guess what? I've been around a while too. I've been in a lot of places he probably wouldn't even dare to go. Um, so I have opinions. He doesn't think they're valid because he's my older brother. Um, whereas I'll listen to his opinion and disagree. Um, he disagrees without even listening to my opinion because he's oh, your younger brother. However, enough of that. Um, I am definitely not a person that is politically correct. As my father always said, you call a spade a spade. In other words, something is what it is. Now, uh, during this um, groans, I may be repeating things I've groaned about before, purely because that's what I like to do. And, uh, you know, uh, in the previous uh, gin and groans, I dared to use the word nigger. <gasps> oh, gosh, shock horror. Well, I guess I could say, oh, the N-word, and everybody goes, oh, he means nigger. And I can't say it, apparently, because of the colour of my skin. Bollocks. I can say any damn thing I like. If I use it in a very negative way, bad way, maybe because that's how I feel about that particular person with a dark skin. Or maybe they are being a nigger, as uh, Chris Rock says. Hey nigger, you know, but, but I wouldn't get away with it because he happens to have a dark skin and I don't. No, you don't tell me what words I can and can't use. People say, oh you know, that's, um, uh, what's, the, what's the word they often use? Racist. Well. If I want to be racist, that's my choice. You cannot tell me who I must like or not like or what religion I must like or not like. I will decide what I like and don't like. I will decide who I like and don't like. And if I wanted to be ridiculous, and I, I say that because if I wanted to be ridiculous and tarnish a whole race or colour of skin, or whatever, um, and hate them. That's my choice. That's up to me. You don't have to agree with me. It doesn't matter. As it happens, there are probably no races or religions or anything that I would do that to, because each to their own. They can believe what they want to believe, uh, they can be what they are. I don't care. It's just... I'm in my book. Um, one of the things that's currently in the, in the news at the moment is the, the transgender uh, swimmer, 
can't remember its name. And, uh, oh gosh, I said it rather than he or she. Well, to me, it's an it. It's, it's not a male, it's not a female. Um, it wants to be a, a female, but it's got a male physique. You know, maybe it's had the bits chopped off, I don't know. I have no desire to know. Um, but the general physique of that creature is male and masculine and can whoop the ass of 99% females. Um, that's wrong. Now, if you want to compete in that sport, terrific. Um, you've decided you want to be a female. That's up to you. That, you know, that's a choice you've made. Or, you know, if you believe in God, he made for you. I don't believe in God as it happens. Um, but, you know, it's the way you feel. It's the way you are. So we're now going to have to have three categories in sports, as I see it. You're going to have the male races, uh, the female races, and uh, the transgender races. And um, to my mind, uh, that transgender race could be a female wanting to be a male or a male wanting to be a female. Well, then do we need four categories? Or do we need not to allow them to compete? Hmm, that's a little prejudice, I guess. So, <sighs> meh, maybe not. Maybe that, that's not a, not a good thing. Um, but something needs to be done because you cannot have a creature that has a male physique competing in a female sport. That's just not fair. That's my two cents on that. Um, what's the other thing in the news, or well, was in the news? Oh, wh whoopee. Uh, stupid woman. Absolutely stupid. No fucking clue about anything. Um, I, I read a comment that somebody said they went to school with her and she was always the same, you know, really argumentative, awkward, and they didn't, um, what should we say, um, didn't, uh, oh, I can't even think of the bloody word now. They weren't upset by the fact that she'd achieved and gone on and done what she's done. You know, more power to her, terrific. But she's always been that type of person, awkward, argumentative. Um, she must be really stupid because saying that the uh, annihilation of the Jews by the Germans was not racist. Of course it was racist. It just didn't happen to be black. And I think that's what pissed her off because she couldn't jump on that bandwagon and say, oh, it was, you know, because they were black. <sighs> Enough of this black shit, guys. It's not needed. I've said this before, and I'll say it again whenever I get the chance. When I went to school, there were Indians, there were Jamaicans, there were Africans, there were Chinese, there were uh, Czechoslovakians, there was Japanese, there was all sorts. To me, as a child, and I say that was up to when I left school, um, 17, years, 17 years old. Um, they're all the same to me. They were just, just the kid in the class. His name was uh, Robert Chow. Well, oh, okay, he was Chinese. He was just Robert. Uh, there was an Indian fellow whose name was Philip Patel. We called him Drill Dip. Don't ask me why, I don't know, we did. But we didn't look at him and go, oh, you know, you're an Indian. Well, you're a Pakistani. And I know the Indians and Pakistanis don't like each other. Um, there was a, a, a black girl called Deborah Innes. Um, she was just a girl. Uh, Vandam Skyum Kimiotek, I think, was another person. Uh, don't ask me what, relig uh, what religion, what race they were. They Polish, Swedish, Czechoslovakia. I have no clue. It didn't matter to us as kids. They were just people. And maybe because of that, and I wasn't um, really brought up with any kind of prejudices, although uh, my father, being a policeman, um, did have certain prejudices, um, but I didn't take those on board. Um, he, he dealt with some really nasty low-life people, and he tended to tar them all with the same brush, but I, I, I don't do that, didn't do that, never have done. Um, I'll dislike someone for that person, not because of what race they are, what colour they are, what religion they believe in. No, I'll just dislike them because I dislike them. That's 
that's really that's really it. All right. Uh, what shall we move on to next? There are a number of subjects. Hmm. Where to go? Idiot drivers. Um, I know they're everywhere. You look on YouTube, you will see them. And you look at what they're doing and you go, why the hell did you do that? What's the matter with you? I, ha I had one the other day and fortunately I know there are idiots out there. I am at a junction. Um, I am turning left. Um, there are traffic lights in both directions. I can see the traffic lights. I am halfway out of the T-junction, ready to turn left. And uh, I can see the lights have gone red. So I think, okay, now I can continue my turn. But a guy in a, I think it was a Cadillac. There's a surprise, huh? Um, come barreling down. I could see he wasn't gonna stop. He jumped the red light. Had I been bloody minded, I could have just stuck my truck in front of him. But I really couldn't be bothered going through the hassle. Um, had I done that, it probably would have killed him if I'd have been lucky. But, uh, I, so I stopped. He locked on his brakes because I made a move. I didn't block his path, I just made a move. And he slammed on his brakes and smoked the tires. And then he went past me. What a stupid idiot. There, there are so many of them out here. Out here, sorry, they're everywhere. They're not just out here in America. Um, oh, just a little side note here. Um, it is uh, February, what is it? February the 13th here at the moment. Um, and in my garage, it is currently 85 degrees. Yum, yum. Why the hell would you live anywhere else? Uh, I mean, in America, you can go to any state you want. You can just travel across. And <laughs> you don't have to live in the cold, shitty climes of New York, Philadelphia, Delaware, I don't know, wherever else it's cold. And why would you? Why would you want to live there? Unless you particularly love the snow. I like looking at it on television. Actually, I enjoy skiing too, but I don't like driving in it every day. Well, I don't have to. Pardon me, because I'm retired. Who said retarded? Back of the class. Um, oh, um, I, I just want to give a shout out to um, uh, One Jag, Jag One, One Jag. Um, he was my 1,000th subscriber on my channel. And I do thank all of my subscribers. I really do, and I, and I mean it wholeheartedly. I'm, I'm grateful that you're all there. Um, granted, not all of you are watching my videos, and you will be found out, and then you'll be shut. Um, <laughs> sorry, stupid. Twelve-year-old humor brain. Um, it's 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 nice to to uh, have those people out there um, watching my videos, and. You know, um, hands up. I, 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 I make mistakes. And uh, in fact, Hank, I think his name is, uh, pointed out on my latest video where I made one hell of a mistake. Um, I was feeding in the wiper um, motor drive cable, for want of a better word, and I fed it in totally the wrong place. And he was very polite in pointing it out. I, and I'll, I'll give him his due for that. He didn't say, oh, you fucking idiot. <laughs> uh, <but> he, <coughs> he sent me some photographs. Of, oh, shit. Um, in my defense, it was over 25 years ago. I took the thing out. So I kind of screwed up as to where it should go. But fortunately, he showed me. Unfortunately, it does mean I'm going to pull it all out and do it again. But hey. If he'd not pointed that out, maybe I'd have put all the dash together and everything and gone, what the fuck? 
So uh, thank you. And, and my subscribers out there, please, please, if, if I fuck up, please say so. You know, don't be nasty about it. Just say, Gary, uh, I think you'll find, or, you know, wor worse than that effect. So um, I appreciate it. Thank you. Uh, Sorry, a moment of pause there. I was looking at my notes, trying to think where I should go to next. Um, let's keep, let's keep it on the car theme for the moment, uh, directly and indirectly. Car design. Um, you, if you watch my channel, um, you will see that I work on various cars. You know, and people. Oh, do you do BMWs? Do you do Jaguars? Do you do this? Do you do that? <laughs> it's a car. They're all basically the same. Now, granted, some of them, you know, you need a special tool to do X or Y. Um, but, you know, it, you can do it. Hell, and then you can go to YouTube if you can't do it, and someone probably has. And they'll show you how to do it. You know, where that, that secret bolt is, or that hidden little nut that you can't find, and you spend 12 hours trying to find, and you can't get the manifold off, whatever. So, you know, uh, to me, it's logic some fucker put it together I can take it apart and vice versa so let's leave that one there car designers um, actually I'm not gonna quite leave it there um, I did a Nissan Titan as you would have seen uh, the starter motor is underneath the intake manifold um, a la Cadillac dumb shits why well because that makes more money uh, there is also uh, the same customer actually brought me his wife's car Nissan Duke J-U-K-E uh, in order to get to that starter motor you have to take the front of the car off how fucking stupid is that oh no it's not that's why their dealer charges you twelve hundred dollars to replace a starter motor why because well you know we got to take the whole front of the car off to get to that Ooh. another design ripoff in my mind they do it deliberately Okay, this is a component that wears out. Starter motor, dynamo, uh, serpentine belt. You know, the, the basic stuff that wears out. Water pump, you know, that kind of shit. Um, and they deliberately make it awkward to get to. So that you have to pay extortionate dealer fees to have it fixed. Now, okay, you know, I'm, I'm the shady tree mechanic or whoever you want to call me. Um, and... It takes me a while and I don't have the special tools and you know I don't have millions of dollars worth of diagnostic equipment and lifting equipment I've just got a nice little you know four post lift and and that's it but the poor bastards in the dealership who are just part swappers usually and you know they get paid peanuts so you know you know what happens you pay peanuts you get monkeys um, they have to deal with it instead of making it simple and doing something for the consumer Mm. Oh no, fuck the public. Let, let's screw them as much as we can. Now, uh, one second, don't go away. Buying parts for cars. Now, uh, that uh, Nissan Titan that I talked about, um, the customer said, hey Gary, need you to change my starter motor. Uh, it's got a problem. Can you do it? Yeah, okay, sure, yeah, I can do it. And wished I hadn't said that, but I did, and he's a good guy, and he's a good customer, so, all right, I went ahead and said, yeah, let's do it, and booked him in, and I, I did that uh, January 6th. Took the car apart, took the intake manifold off, new intake manifold gasket, replaced all the gasket seals. Uh, all the pipes under there that are rubber were like rocks, so I had to be very careful. He didn't want to buy new pipes so I had to be very careful and not break anything and everything's plastic which as you know I detest um, and I took it off and replaced it uh, we're now February 13th he's just picked it up again I have replaced the starter motor for a second time this is an AutoZone part uh, it lasted just over a month where is it made? Hmm, you can probably guess, can't you? Fucking China. Piece of shit. So, I've done it for him a second time. Now, I've charged him. My labor's not free. I don't work for free. 
Uh, he's an electrician, neither does he. But there's no way he should have had to pay for my labour twice. That's just wrong, totally wrong. So I have told him, you know, to claim it from AutoZone because their part was defective and it made him have to pay double for getting it fixed. Uh, I'm just doing a classic Jaguar Mark II over that shoulder. Um, and I buy lots of parts for it. Some come from England, some come from China. Um, recently on, poof, what was it? The wiper motor thingy. And I, I've mentioned it in that video, but you know, if you haven't watched my video, then you ain't gonna see it. A little rubber grommets. Nothing super duper excited. First grommet I went to put in, this is it here. Look, it's just, as I tried to put it in, it ripped apart. Cheap Chinese crap. I have no choice. The people I got it from, s and Barrett, are one of the best parts suppliers you can imagine for Jaguar parts. Um, it's a fucking joke. I hate buying cheap Chinese crap. All right. Uh, where shall we go now? Let, let's let's uh, come down to uh, the COVID shit. And this, this will probably be the last of my rants for the moment. I've been prattling on now for over 20 minutes. And you're probably all bored and you disagree, but hey, shove some shit in the comments. Come back to me. Don't be nasty. There's no need to be nasty. But, you know, you disagree with me. By the way, I hate electric vehicles. Just thought I'd throw that one in. Hydrogen's the way to go if you must get rid of gas. But I don't care because I'll be dead by the time electric vehicles become the thing. And in the meantime, all you idiots buying electric vehicles and, you know, polluting because, you know, where does electricity come from? Mm, gas, oil, uh, uh, mining batteries. Uh, uh, duh, uh, never thought of that. Uh, no. Of course you didn't. You think because you plug it in the wall and there's no emissions coming out of the tailpipe which of course there isn't a tailpipe uh it, it's good and clean it's not but that's your choice i digress didn't i i went whoosh, off there um recently i went cheers to palm springs with my brother uh the reason we went there was to go and visit the bas interiors um they do interiors for specific specific vehicles one specific vehicle is my mark ii jaguar the other is my e-type or my shared e-type share it with my brother although i'd probably never see it again um so we went there and he happened to be in palm springs so we get to palm springs and uh the i think it's probably the governor the you know, as a mandate you must wear a mask yeah, okay all right Fortunately, we take a mask with us because we knew Californians are weird. Ah, we book ourselves into the hotel. And then we come down for breakfast in the morning. We go up to the breakfast bar and say, you know, we'd like this, that and the other. And they say, where's your vaccination certificate? What? We must see your vaccination certificate, otherwise you can't have any breakfast. If you care to order and take it away, we don't need it. Well, my brother and I just wanted to sit there and have a nice breakfast and BS and what we're going to do for the day. Uh, well, I hadn't got mine with me. Fortunately, through CVS, where I'd had my vaccinations done, I could get onto the um, app and find my certificate. My brother had printed his, and so he had to go back to the room and find it. And okay, so you know, we got our breakfast. We go down in the evening for a couple of beers before we go to bed. They didn't ask. No. Go down the next morning. Same question. Where's your vaccination certificate? What? You saw it yesterday. No, that wasn't me. Okay. Fortunately, at that moment, the girl that served us the day previous said, "No, they're all right. They've." They're good. All right, so, you know, evening time's come and, and we go out for a meal in the evening. 
we can't go into a restaurant because we don't have our vaccination certificates. Well, we do, but it's too much fucking hassle. Uh, <laughs> so we can sit outside and eat. Of course, as soon as we set our asses down, you take your mask off. You can't eat and drink with a fucking mask on, can you? But that was okay. We could sit outside. We could have a nice meal, a drink. Uh, it was a very nice place, Palm Springs. Um, and if ever you're there, I, I, I would recommend, uh, the, what were they called? Reuben and Oysters uh, and Thai Mile, two restaurants we visited. Very nice, very good. Um, <laughs> not quite sure. There seems to be a, a large gay proliferation there, and I mean male gay, not female gay, because it's all the same thing to me. Um, not quite sure why, but anyway, um, it, it, it was it was good. The, the food was good. It was a it's a very nice place. Um, go visit the Air Museum there too. Um, <laughs> sorry, digression there. Uh, I just, it was like, why do I have to wear this mask? I'm fully vaccinated. Oh, wow, you know, Gary, you could be carrying the virus, virus and infect someone else. Well, they should be fucking vaccinated in my book. Now, I appreciate the choice is yours. You either get vaccinated or you don't. That is your choice. But... I shouldn't have to suffer because of you not being vaccinated. So therefore, I shouldn't wear a mask. And if you get infected by me, well, that's your problem because you didn't get vaccinated. And you can trundle off and be ill and maybe even die because of your principles. And, and that's fine. That's your choice. My choice is I'll get vaccinated up to the fucking eyeballs I'll get vaccinated. That way I am safe, my family is safe. Yeah, it doesn't mean I can't get it, but it means that hopefully the effects won't be so bad. Who knows? And I don't believe a fucking GERD, the what GERD or even word the government says. All right, I've prattled on now for 27 minutes. If you're still watching, which I'm surprised and also say thank you, well done. And you get a brownie point. Ah, uh, my usual sign off. Please like, comment, subscribe. Ding the dong, you'll get notified of more shit that I do. Now get out in that garage and do some shit. Yeah, it's fun. Bye. <laughs>